I also want you just to talk about what your mom did because she was kind of proactive and she made a lot of decisions up front to, I think, just to keep you guys from having to make those decisions. Talk about that so that other people will have the advantage of knowing what she did. Uh, thank you for asking. This is one of the most remarkable features of my mother's courage and strength, I think. She lined us all up. She had, as you recall, first of all, identified her disease. And then as it began to progress, still in the early stages, though, she lined us up and she said, listen, when I'm kicking and screaming and I can no longer call you by name, know that that's a disease and it's not me. And when that day comes, I don't want to live with any of you. And she went down the line and she said, and kids, you're going to have to help daddy know when it's time to let me go. And she pulled out some brochures of places she had researched. And she said, any of these kinds of places will be fine. Well, look, for a lot of families, that's culturally not a desirable option. Financially, it's not an option. Uh, what was beautiful about that moment for us, though, was we had our marching orders and it allowed our family to come together as a unit and execute mom's wishes because we'd done that thing that's so hard to do. We had talked about the decline. We had talked about when mom would no longer be with us, when mom would no longer be able to tell us her wishes. And if families can do that earlier, and that's to early diagnosis, these are all just byproducts of, of, the, of having the information and having the courage to take those loving steps. And that had to make it easier for all of you. I mean, this not only changed you as a person, Lisa, but it changed really your, even your career path. Tell me about the foundation, Lisa's Care Connection. My life and people who've been at this moment of diagnosis can all relate to this. My life didn't make sense anymore the way I was leading it, knowing what I knew. And you don't know until you're in it, typically. But for me, um, it allowed me to see a path forward. And this was my mother's wisdom, too. I, I was so sad with her. And, Mom, I don't know how to help, and I don't know what to do, and I don't know how to fix it. And she would say, oh, shush, honey. You know, you've been a reporter all your life and you've told stories. This is now your story. Go and wow. tell it and make it count. And that was my inspiration to reach out and, and create a caregiving community, which is Lisa's Care Connection, where we help care for caregivers and help you summon your strength and call on your courage along the way.